Molly Messer. She entered the industry a mere six years ago, and she's already achieved much success in her short career. After graduating from beauty school, Molly became both a Temptu airbrush makeup artist and a certified Hair Dreams extension specialist. She's an up-and-coming trendsetter, a master stylist in colors and cuts, and is planning to become a platform artist for the major manufacturer. Molly, I really appreciate you taking time and being with us today and uh, just sitting down and talking about you. Thank, Thank you so much. I, I'm so excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you. We really are. Uh, Molly, you've been out of school for five years. Five years. All right, but you've, you've already accomplished a lot of stuff, and we're really proud of you for that. And I kind of want to talk about your story. I, I, I kind of want to know what got you to where you are today. Right. And, and more importantly, how you can kind of inspire other people to get, to get there and, and uh, maybe follow you as, as you go ahead in, in your career and, and grow and, and get to be uh, uh, a great artist and a, and, a, and a great talent and a great uh, <laughs> business person. Well, thank you. So let's, let's, let's talk about it a little bit All because right. uh, let's go back. Let's go back to, to cosmetology school days, okay? okay. Uh, five whole years five ago. Five whole years. C can you remember that? I think you can. Yeah. I know you can. It'll be tough, but. Uh, somehow you'll do it. Uh, and we're going to go back to that time because I know you had some challenges. Oh, yeah. I mean, there were challenges for you, um, Molly, going to school. Um, tell everybody about it because you actually went to college. Oh, yeah. Tell went me that story. Well, my parents forced me to get a Eastern Kentucky University. They're like, you need to get an education. You know, we want you to do something just in case you would, you go to cosmetology school and you hate it, mm -hmm. which I knew that wasn't going to be the case. So right. I did it their way. I went to school for a year, absolutely hated it. Um, I actually, I think I called my mom like twice a month to ask for school, school money for books. Right. I'm like, I need money for books. She's like, Molly, I, you know, you need book money every week? I'm yeah. like, of course I do. I was going out partying, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wasted their time, I wasted, or wasted my time and their money and. Because you were doing things that you didn't really want to do. No, yeah, right. for sure. And, and, and I think that's a story of a lot of people. It, it really happens to oh, a lot yeah. of people. I think, I think their families, meaning well, want their, want their child to go to college. I mean, they, they feel that that's something that they owe to their child and they think that, that that's the best way to success. But that wasn't your best way to success, no, was it? No, absolutely not. No. Did you always want to be a cosmetologist? I always wanted to be a cosmetologist. I, I got to ask this question. <laughs> did, did, did you play with Barbie doll hair and stuff like that or your or, I, or friends hair? or? I actually practiced on my brother. Did you really? Yeah, yeah we actually oh, did your each other's brother. hair. Oh, yeah. You remember those pinking shears that would like cut the fabric, they cut like jagged lines. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was that I was I bet you gave him haircut. some terrific haircuts, didn't you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it, was he your little brother? He was my older brother. Oh, your older brother? Yes. And, and you were still able to get him to do that? Well, we were young. Okay. And so I would force him, we'd have this like little car that we would, I'd pull up and I'd act like I was shampooing his hair with, and I'd cut his hair. And mm -hmm. I don't know. So you had this idea for for a haircut on the go. Is that on it? Go. Okay. We it's like a cool mobile car. haircutting. Yeah, we okay. had this cool car and we would be in the basement and I'd be like, just let me cut a little bit of it and he'd pull up and I thought it was I don't know, it was just mm -hmm. really random weird. So but. finally, okay, so so <laughs> you, no, no, I, I love these stories. And and basically what happened is okay, you're finished the first year, parents are realizing we just blew X num number of thousand dollars, right, all right? right? You said I told you so. Right. And it was at that point you said that's it, I'm going to go to yeah. I'm going to go to beauty school. Immediately I went to to beauty school and I fell in love with it. That's fantastic. But you had challenges though. Oh, I yeah. mean, I, I you know, you and I talked about it and I mean the challenges it, it's tough and I I don't think it's unlike a lot of people have to go through these things. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you don't mind, do you mind talking about it a little bit? Not I mean, at your, all. your parents went through a, a, a tough divorce. A, a very tough divorce. Um, I remember just getting into hair school and they divorced and um, my dad found out he had Crohn's disease. So mm. he was constantly sick. And from that, he was constantly in it's and out of the hospital. It's painful too. It's a very tough time. It is. It is. Yeah. Definitely. And, and what happened? Um, in and out of the hospital, and it was—it was a—it was, was a tough thing to go through because I had to—I had to be strong for for myself. I was finally getting to do something that I love to do, right. um, and going to school was just that—that that I was kind of at peace going to school and it was your escape. I loved what I it was, was doing. It was your escape. Yeah. A lot of definitely. people take all of that that kind of challenge in their life 
and they let it affect them, and they let it pull them down. Right. And you're saying what you did is you took you took those those terrible things that were going on in your family's life, uh, sickness, divorce, uh, bad feelings at home, and you saw that is is this you saw cosmetology in school as a chance to to transform that in your life and right. to get away from that stuff. Right. Right. I think that's great. A lot of my time was focused on school. Like, how can I? You know what can I do at home to keep my mind off of right off of what was actually happening right. so and you know it's a lot like yin and yang I mean if, if you have one part of your life that's that, that's a challenge the other part of your life pull, pulls you through it right it, yeah exactly and that's, and that's what school was for you that's exactly it yeah that's really cool and and all this while you've now you've now embarked on your on your kind of education the stuff that you really wanted to do yeah that's going to be tough and also finances are tougher during a divorce oh, yeah, for sure. so suddenly instead of having all the money for partying <laughs> you had to what go out and get a job go right? get a job yeah right yeah and you worked at Victoria's Secrets I did doing. I did um, I worked on the beauty side so I wasn't right. on the lingerie side right. I did the beauty side right. and I did makeup for them mm -hmm. for I think a year and a half mm -hmm. and I loved every. I loved makeup. Loved right. doing it. Yeah. That kind of also fed into the very thing the, you were doing in school. Yeah. Am I right? Re yeah, for sure. Yeah. And how was your attendance during all this time? Were, did, were you a good <laughs> girl? Did you did you go to school all the time? I did. Well, okay. Compared to Eastern right. Kentucky University, um, right. I was constantly missing school there. I mm -hmm. wouldn't go to class, but I loved what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing. I what had happens. good. I know. You're motivated, right? I know. I think it's very, very, very common w the problem that you had too with your own self-confidence oh yeah tell me about that a little bit I was such a nerdy kid I was like this little chunkster and I was overweight and so all growing up I was like you know your self-image I love doing hair but I didn't feel confident in, in doing it Right. because um, as a hairstylist people look up to you and they're mm -hmm. like oh I want to be like her that's how I was with my hairstylist I think that's kind of got me into it I right. loved going to her she would boost my confidence and mm -hmm. You told me the one moment that you were just about ready to, to, to call it quits. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> was when? When what happened? Um, my first haircut that I experienced. First day first on the student salon on floor. On the floor, right? yes. I, my instructor walked up and gave me a ticket for a haircut, and I, I was terrified. I was sweating to death. I was just like, oh, my God, I can't do this. I'm so nervous. So. Right. That's a tough time. <laughs> and what happened after you, you? And you told me that the haircut went. It went well. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't right. the best one, but and? I learned and. And how'd you feel afterwards? I was okay. Yeah. I was okay. I was like, okay, I think I can do this. So the second second cut you had was. Second one was just just fine. N no problems <laughs> then, right? It wasn't my best haircut, but yeah, well, no problems. <laughs> well, you have to have a couple of bad ones to have the great ones. For right. sure. Is for that sure. right? Yeah. If you had a, a message to 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 somebody that's in school today, I mean, right now. Uh, what would you tell them? I mean, if you had a chance to walk into any school in America and talk to students who were going through what you had to go through, you had your challenges, you had your insecurities, uh, what would you tell them today? You have to love what you're doing. Right. And if you don't love it, then you won't ever make it make it out there. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I think that's true of anything in life. Oh, yeah, it, for sure. You have to love what you're doing. Th there's an old story. If you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Right. What are your plans? What do you want to do from this oh. point forward? The sky's the limit. No, um, I have no idea. I, I want to do platform work. Um, Good. I want to own tons of salons, and I look up to a lot of people in this industry, so if I can yeah. do a runway show or... Uh, no, wait, wait a minute. Now, this is the young lady who, who was the college dropout. Yeah. This is the young lady who lacked self-confidence, mm -hmm. and this is the young lady who, who had all kinds of challenges. And now, now you're talking about the fact that you want to you want to be the the mogul of the beauty industry, I right? I do. I'm, I'm very over. I'm <laughs> very impressed with that. That's really cool. Thank so you. no, you're a great inspiration, and I really appreciate you taking Thank time you to so talk much. to us today. It's been Thank great. You. It's been a lot I of fun. Good.